there were warnings, but no one could have predicted what Mother Nature had in store for Oklahoma. This medical center became a casualty itself as the tornado carved a path of destruction right through it. It twisted and obliterated houses like this one. This was a sliding door and this is, uh, we have a TV right there, we're watching the weather. Robert Goodry's uh, home survived ago, previous tornadoes, but not this. Yet. It's just stuff that you can replace. No, you can't replace life, so me and my wife were happy that, you know, we're just here, you know, we didn't, nothing happened to us. You seem, you seem remarkably upbeat to have survived this, essentially, and, and come through it and, and to feel like that. Yeah, well, you know, we, we had this cellar for 31 years, and uh, it's come in handy every time we needed to use it. Every time they uh, set off the sirens, we go in there. The horrors endured at Plaza Towers Elementary have so far defined this disaster. Seven of the nine children killed in the tornado were inside the school. I'm gonna just listen to your heart and your lungs. Eight-year-old Courtney Brown took shelter with her class as the twister moved in. Yeah, I was on my knees like that. <laughs> I was doing that. What were you thinking? About my mom. What were you thinking about your mom? I missed her. Nope, she was okay. Teacher Jennifer Doan is one of the many humble heroes to emerge from the tornado. Amid the rubble, she used her body to shield some of the children, but others still perished. I was just telling him to keep calm. And that they would come. He just kept telling me that he couldn't breathe and he didn't want to die. Eight-year-old Carl Davis was one of those who died at Plaza Towers. So too was nine-year-old Janae Hornsby. Today her father spoke of the desperate race to get to her and save her, but he was too late. My heart just sank and I started worrying and panicking. Uh, I just needed to find my baby. In the suburb of Moore, extra security has been brought in to prevent any potential looting. Two people have already been arrested while going through the belongings of a home. Uh, this, was a, this was actually a neighborhood, so you know, this right here was a house. Sergeant uh, right Larry Mansell is one of the National Guard who've been drafted in. Tonight we're kind of filling a command and control, uh, kind of helping get most of the military guys out to their post to kind of uh, keep uh, people not to go into the areas, you know, people that want to look, take pictures or, or even looters to keep them out as well. So uh, we've been facilitating that with the Army National Guards. This tornado had the power to flatten scores of buildings, destroying virtually everything inside and out. Everywhere we look on this street, we're seeing home after home reduced to sticks and bricks. A car remains on the driveway at this property, but the house it was parked in front of is now barely a house at all. In the coming days, we'll hear more about those victims who perished and see more of the places which were punished.